The coracoacromial ligament connects the acromion and the coracoid process on the scapula. While this ligament does not cross the glenohumeral joint, it serves to stabilize the head of the humerus. The coracohumeral ligament joins the humerus to the coracoid process of the scapula. It limits inferior translation and excessive external rotation of the humerus. The transverse humeral ligament crosses between the greater and lesser tubercles of the humerus and holds the tendon of the long head of the biceps muscle in place. The superior, middle, and inferior glenohumeral ligaments are all thickened bands of the shoulder joint capsule. The superior glenohumeral ligament prevents posterior and inferior translation of the humeral head. The middle glenohumeral ligament provides anterior stability when the shoulder is abducted at 45 degrees and 60 degrees. The inferior glenohumeral ligament forms the thickest and strongest part of the capsule and prevents extremes of motion, primarily stabilizing against antero-inferior dislocation.